Welcome to the Grant Writing Simplified Podcast. This is the place to learn how to make a big impact in your community through grant writing and nonprofit consulting. The world needs you to step forward as a grant writer and use your skills to lead with confidence. I'm Teresa Huff, former special ed teacher turned grant writer and nonprofit strategist. In my 20 years of freelancing, I've helped nonprofits triple their funding and exponentially increase their reach. Now I'm stepping up to mentor freelancers and nonprofit leaders like you who are ready to take your skills to the next level. It's time to get intentional about your vision so you can create lasting change in your community. Learn the skills and strategies you need to become the grant writer the world needs. Let's do this. Hey friend, welcome to episode 28 of Grant Writing Simplified. This is the third episode in our series on mentoring. If you've missed the others, be sure to go back and listen to the last couple of weeks. I'll link to those in the show notes. It's been such a good series, and the more I talk about it, the more people are reaching out sharing stories of how instrumental mentors have been in their lives. Back in episode 21, Brandy Van Antwerp shared how much mentors helped her along her professional grant writing journey, especially in the beginning when she started out as a new intern to grant writing. Mentors really helped her get started. And even as she's a successful leader of a larger foundation, mentors are an important part of her work in her professional life. Someone the other day asked how to get started with his grant writing career. That's what inspired today's episode. It's a sort of sneak peek into my mentoring program, Fast Track to Grant Writer. This person is volunteering at a nonprofit now by helping their grant writer with preparing grant proposals. He's getting good experience, but he's only been at it a couple of months. He's looking for mentoring and guidance on how to actually get started on his own as a professional grant writer. If you can relate to this situation, then you're probably ready for the Fast Track to Grant Writer program. He's got the right idea by working with a grant writer to learn the ropes, but of course he'd like to scale his competence even faster. There are several things he can do right now to be learning. Number one, observe how the nonprofit runs. Watch how the board operates. Learn the internal processes, the chain of command. If you can, sit in on any staff trainings or board meetings. By watching and observing, you'll pick up on a lot of things of how it should flow. Number two, watch for clues of how nonprofits and businesses are similar. Interestingly enough, a lot of the same strategies work really well for both. For example, last week in episode 26 with Dr. Jonathan Krauss, he referenced several business quotes and advice in his tips for nonprofit leader growth. To be a good grant writer, especially if you want to be an independent consultant with your own business, you need to be savvy in both business and nonprofits. There's a huge overlap in the skill set. He also emphasized the value of mentoring in the leadership journey. Number three, learn how to collect and organize information effectively. This is so important in a nonprofit to keep things running smoothly, but also as you get into grant writing, you're going to have a lot of documents, multiple years, a lot of projects to juggle. You've got to have a good system to keep everything organized. So as you learn to collect this information, this could be physical, like paperwork, intake forms, data, surveys. Or it could be digital. It could be your online files, your computer files that need to have a consistent naming system with the name and date in the file, having folders organized so the team can share and know exactly where to find things. So make sure you come up with good systems. If you don't have one, take some time to sit down and work this out. Number four, practice your research skills. Learn where to find statistics where to look things up, figure out what's important and what's not when you're looking up certain statistics, what's relevant to your situation and to your proposal. Learn how to look up data about your nonprofit's target population, where to find that, what kind of data you're looking for. Gather the history of the organization and put that together. Those will all help develop your research skills and that transfers directly to grant writing. 
Number five, familiarize yourself with different grant applications. Learn about the different types of grants, look through them, see what's involved with each, look for similarities and differences, and learn the process. Partly that's what you're doing by observing and helping with the grant writer. You're learning the grant application process start to finish and also how to implement grants after they're awarded. Number six, learn budgets. I say budgets plural. Learn the organizational budget, learn about specific program budgets, and learn about your grant proposal budgets. Learn the basic lingo, the basic things they're asking for, and sometimes you'll need to get clarification from the grant funder of exactly what they want included but at least learn what's included in the budget so that you kind of know your way around before you start writing a grant. I'd like for this student to transition from volunteering to being paid. And so does he, obviously. We talk through his skills, the opportunities in front of him, and his career goals. Then we develop several specific, doable action steps based on his unique situation. Most of them were like a light bulb turning on. They're clear and achievable, even though he wouldn't have thought to do them. We often can't see what's right in front of us. We need someone to help connect the dots. Now he has a specific roadmap to get started, and he feels super comfortable building a framework to start charging for his services. That's the kind of thing we do in Fast Track to Grant Writer. We learn plenty of the pro grant writing tips. As one VIP Fast Track student said, understanding the writing pro tips module was so good. Grant writing is nuanced and it really helps to get some insider tips to help craft our writing. We also go over exactly how to use those tips. Another Fast Track student said, I appreciate all the ways you're showing us how we can help nonprofits. There are many nuggets we can incorporate into consulting that I hadn't previously considered. That's the fun part about it, you guys, is figuring out all these other things you can do. Even if they've read the books and taken the courses, new grant writers still come to me and ask me questions like, how do I find clients and market myself? How much do I charge? Should I work for free? How do I find a job working for a nonprofit without any experience? We cover all of this and so much more in Fast Track to Grant Writer. Here's the thing, friends. I'm not going to dump a bunch of cookie cutter grant writing lessons on you and then say, go write your grant. Grants aren't that way, and I don't believe mentoring should be either. I keep referring to this as a VIP program. That's because this program is extremely limited to those who are serious about taking their grant writing career to the next level and want direct access to me as a mentor. I keep the group small to allow enough time for focused, individualized feedback. We get to know each other so I can better advise on your specific situation. By the time you finish the program, I want you to have crystal clear action steps and the accountability you need to move forward. If this resonates with you, sign up for the Fast Track to Grant Writer program at teresahuff.com slash VIP. We are having so much fun in there. The doors are open until March 25th for the Spring 2021 cohort. Spots are limited, though, so the sooner you sign up, the better. My friend, the world needs you out there making a difference. It's time to get you on the fast track. And if you're ready for the fast track to grant writing, don't wait. Spots are starting to fill already, and space is limited. Go to TeresaHuff.com slash VIP to see all that we'll be learning. We'll do a deep dive into grant writing and setting up your career for success. These eight weeks can change your life and the world. If you love this show and you learn something new about being the type of grant writer the world needs so you can create a ripple in your community, please go leave me a review over on Apple Podcasts today. Thanks for listening. Now go change your world.